Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to make a website with Google Sites. Now, everyone has access to Google Sites and you could use it completely for free for personal reasons, for making a personal website, or if you're using this for work or school, you could also get Google Sites from Google Workspace, which is the old Google G Suite. Now, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this from scratch, step by step, and I'm gonna to put together a real website I'll put that website in the description below this video because that website is gonna show you all the other Google products and tutorials for those. So if you wanna learn how to use Google Drive properly, Google Sheets, Google Docs, Google Forms, all the Google products are gonna be listed below in that link. So click that, it's actually this website that I created. So we'll make it completed from scratch so I could show you how to add banners, how to add text, how to add videos and photos and make a really nice looking website from scratch. And if it's your first time here, I make easy to follow tutorials every single day, 365 days a year on this channel. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next tutorial. Let's jump in here on the computer and make our website. Now there are three different ways to access Google Sites. The easiest one is probably by going to sites.google.com and it brings you to this page or to the Google login page you have to log in with a Google account. You could do this with your personal account for a personal website or Google Workspace, which is what I'm using to access Google Sites. The second option is on any Google website like Google Drive or YouTube, you could press this box right here or on google.com and then find Google Sites here from that page brings you back to this same page. And the last option is you could go to drive.google.com and this is your Google Drive. And you could go ahead and press the plus sign here, go to more and then add Google Sites from here. Either way, your Google Sites gets saved to your Google Drive. With any Google account, personal or work, everything gets saved to that Google Drive. So if you wanna learn about exactly how Google Drive works, watch a different video I have explaining exactly how that works. But to make this quick, let's go ahead and start with Google Sites. To create a site, all you have to do is press this plus sign on this page and you could go ahead and create a new site here. And there's this other option that says choose template. Let me just click it just to show you. There are a lot of templates available here that lets you create a website and a lot of the work is already done for you. So this is definitely a recommended way to do this if you're starting out so you don't have to really worry about design. And you could see there's multiple categories for small businesses, for education, and you could choose any of them. In this case, I'm just gonna go back here because I'm just gonna press the plus sign and start a new site here. And I'll show you from scratch how to create a site and how to edit the site. And the very first thing you wanna do on Google Sites is you want to name your document. So I'm gonna name this document. And now this is getting saved to my Google Drive. Let me just go back to Google Drive to show you. This is the document I just saved and it appears in my Google Drive. So anytime you wanna find that same website to make edits to it, you could do it on the site's website that I'm on or the Google Drive website and it will bring you over here. Just make sure you're logged into the same Google account for all of this because different files get saved to that specific Google account. Let me go back to the Google site here. Now, before we make any changes, let me show you on the right side what we have. Insert is all these different types of elements that we could add to our website. And this is my home page. And if I go to pages here, I could press the plus sign to add more pages. So it could be a multi-page website. It doesn't have to just be a one page website. Right now it's just one page. But for example, if I press the plus sign to add a new page, I could call this about us page and then press done and it will add a second page. And then I could jump between the two different pages to make edits but I typically focus on one page at a time and then go down the list of creating more pages. Then you have themes and this helps you change the layout a little bit. So you could change the color. You could see there's multiple options here. You could change the font option here as well. You could see that changed my page and you have a few other options here like this one, I could select it and it will change the layout of my page. So I'm happy with this design and let's get started with creating our page. Let's go back to the insert and you could do this step before or after and that's the ability to share this with other people so they could work on this in real time with you. So I could go ahead and click this and it's gonna open this box here 
and I could add people here so they could edit in real time with me this document. Now, this is the same with any Google document, Google Doc, Google Sheet, Google Slide. They all work the same way. So you could type in another email and invite them here, or you could go ahead and press change here and change some of the settings that people have when you share the websites with them. Now I'm gonna work on this website completely on my own till I publish it live. This whole time, this is just private website on your Google Drive. No one could see this until you press publish right up here. Let's go ahead and assemble this page. Now, if you don't have any graphic design skills, I recommend using layouts. Layouts basically look exactly like you see over here. So if I wanted to create a layout that has two images and some text, I could go ahead and grab this and just drop it over here. Now the top banner I'm keeping because I'm gonna modify this in a second, but look at this, it just added this section for me and I could press the plus sign to upload any pictures here. I could select pictures that I have on my drive. I could add YouTube videos. All that is available right here, even maps and calendars. And for text, I could just type text over here. So these layouts are very, very useful. You could just stack multiple different layouts to make a nice looking website. Before I show you some more elements on the right side, let's go ahead and work with our top banner because that's the first thing people are gonna see. So. If I come to this corner, it says add logo. So I could add my company logo here. Let me go ahead and do that. And it brought me to this page, brand images. I'm gonna upload my logo right here. And there it is, it just appeared over here. So I could go ahead and exit this page. And because this is on your Google Drive, you don't have to change anything and it automatically makes changes and saves it to your drive. This is great because you never have to worry about losing things because you forgot to save something. As you can see on the right side, it added the different pages for me. So it created this navigation automatically. And that was by creating additional pages and I create more, they'll appear over here. Let me go back to insert. You could go ahead and change this title over here. Now this is independent from the document name. So you could change this and this independently. So I'll name this Google Drive Tutorials. And you could go ahead and give this a title. I'll call this Google how-to videos. You could select any of these and then you could change the styling over here. You have some options with alignment. You could even insert a link if you want people to click this and go to a different page on your website. So this could send me to the about page if I want or any link to any website on the internet could go there. I usually don't make this a clickable link though because I don't want people to leave this homepage right away. Then you could change the background image from this default. So I'm gonna click this here and upload my own. And I made one here in Photoshop. So it says how to essential Google. So I could delete this text actually. I'm gonna delete this because I created this already in Photoshop. So this is gonna be my top banner here. And you could also, when you press change image, select image too. And there's a bunch of them in the gallery section to choose from. So you don't have to design your own. And you could always use Google Drive or these other options to bring in a banner image. So I brought in my logo, I named my website and document, I brought in the banner. Now I wanna do the rest of the website here and I have inserted a couple of different layouts. Let's work with the first one. I'm gonna press the plus sign and I'm gonna this time add a YouTube video to another Google product called Google Docs. And I just search how to use Google Docs. This is my video, I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna select it again. And it's gonna insert it right here, very nice and easy from YouTube. Now I'll label it here. I could go ahead and add more text underneath it, but this is fine for now, I'll leave it as is. I'll select this section and press delete. So this is all I need for that. And I'll go ahead and do the same thing with Google Sheets. And looks like here's a couple of the different videos I have, the mobile one and the regular one. I'll use this one here and select. And I'll call this how to use Google Sheets. And I'll select here and delete this section. So there's the top of our page right here with a couple of different videos, but I'm missing a nice text to separate my banner from this section. Let's look on the right side and you have some options here like a text box. You could select the text box and just like that you added a text box, but I want this to be on top of the other videos. So I could just go ahead and grab it over here and select it and drop it down. And you see that blue line? If I drop it, it's gonna put it exactly where I want it to be. I'll go ahead and type here and let me go ahead and change the style here to heading and I'll go ahead and align this to be center and I'll make it bold. There we go. Now we have our banner and we have this section and we could actually select it 
and change the background over here. You see this option over here on the left side, it says section background. I could select this to change the background like this and it will look a little bit different than it did before. Let me see what the different ones look like. So we had white and then we have this one. This actually looks good. I'm gonna leave this as is. So I added this other layout over here. So let me go ahead and add three other videos. I'll fast forward through this and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, I added a whole bunch of videos here and these are all the different videos and tutorials I have on Google Drive. So I'm actually gonna publish this website so you could go ahead and watch all these in one place if you want. You get the idea here. You could go ahead and make a website like this using videos. And let me show you how to add images here because that comes in really handy. And again, I'll click this image icon over here and I'll upload one this time. And let's just choose one of these here. And there's an image, so I could actually change the size of anything I upload. I could go ahead and grab it. You could see it's letting you scale this exactly how you want to. And then you could do the same thing horizontally and vertically here to make it look really nice. So you could use this to design your website any which way you want. Now let's keep going down because you also have these other options here that we haven't talked about, but any of them lets you add more. For example, if I wanna add a button here, I could click this and name this something. And I could even link this maybe to a contact page if I made a contact page. And in this case, I'll just do about page and I'll go ahead and insert it here. And there's a button here that people could click and it will take him to whatever page I linked. And then I could select this actually and then go ahead and change how it looks. So I could do an outline or the text or leave a field like I had over here. And anytime I could go ahead and edit it. And I could just grab it and put it somewhere else. So I want this to be on the center of the page instead of the left right there. And there you have it. Now I added a button to this over here on the bottom of my page. You could do the same thing with just about anything you could imagine here. You could do this with Google Slides and Google Sheets and Google Docs. So I could select Google Docs, for example. There is one example here on my Google Drive. I'll select that and press insert on the very corner and it's gonna insert that just like this over here. So very, very easy to add different elements and anytime you could go ahead and shrink elements down. So I'll make this like half the page and maybe I wanna add a Google Slide to the other side. Let's go ahead and add this one, press insert. I'll shrink this down and then bring it up here. So it's very easy drag and drop kind of situation here, which is very, very difficult to do on other website creation platforms. You also have this option to create dividers. So if you think things are too close, like if this image is too close to these videos, I could go ahead and add a divider over here. So I'll select it. There it is, it created this line, created a nice divider between sections. And finally, I'll add an image carousel here where it lets you insert multiple images. So I'll go ahead and upload multiple images here and press enter. I'll go ahead and press insert here. And again, I could make this as large as I want. And let me go ahead and extend this out a little bit. And you could see with the images now, there's three dots. That means this is gonna play as a carousel. And this is a perfect time to show you how to preview your existing website. Right up here, there's this option for preview. Click it and it's gonna show you the website on your computer. So there is my banner on top that I put up here and then I could see all my videos. I could see my image, my button here, my documents. And then there's the carousel here where it gets this nice slider here where people could slide through. So there is my homepage just like that. The about page I haven't done anything to, so if you go over there, it's still that way. You'll have to edit the different pages completely separate. And you have this option where you could view this on a tablet. So this is what it's gonna look like on a tablet. And this is what it's gonna look like on a phone here. So you could take a look at it that way too. And it looks like my banner does not look good at all on the phone. So I do have to redesign or try a different banner that looks correct on the phone. That's why it's really critical that every time you make changes to your website to basically preview it to make sure it looks correct. So let me exit the preview here and go back to the website. So I could go ahead over here and under header type, I could click this and change how this banner looks actually to make sure it's gonna look correct on different pages. Or if it doesn't, I could go ahead and upload a new one. So after you feel good with your homepage, again, go back to the pages section here, add more pages. You could always delete pages you don't want as well. You could make other pages your homepage so they show up number one. You could duplicate pages here. 
very, very easy and you can make as many pages as you want again by pressing new page and adding them, linking them together with buttons here. You'll have this navigation on top. Really, really simple stuff over here. Now I should mention when it comes to using images, you have to make sure you use images that you have permission to use. So I typically buy my images from shutterstock.com. I have a link in the description to this platform and you could get credit here and buy all kinds of different images here. Some of the ones I've purchased before for different purposes, these for YouTube and these for other purposes like making websites. So you have to use images you have permission to on a website that you're running publicly so you don't get into any copyright issues. When you're all done here, you could go ahead and press this little person icon to share this with other people and get feedback or have other people edit or work on your existing website. Again, make sure you do check the preview here on different devices to make sure it's looking good. And I could go ahead and press publish now when ready. And I could give this a web address. Now it's gonna show up at sites.google.com slash affinity.com slash whatever this is. So Google tutorial. Oh, it looks like I can't use the word Google here. So I'll just label this tutorials. And now that's okay because Google is a trademark word so I can't use it here. I'll press publish. So now the website is actually published and if you make any other changes to it, you do have to come back and press publish again. If you don't do that, the latest changes won't show up. At this point, you could press copy publish link and that will copy this link that you could share with other people. Now you do have to change one thing. You have to press this option, share with others. And I do have to change this link type. Let me go ahead and press change because right now it's published. Anyone in this group can find an open, but I wanna change this to public. I want this just to be a public website. Now the draft is still set to restricted here. That's fine. I'll just go ahead and press done now. And now I could click this copy share link and then copy this and then open a new window, paste it. Now anyone with an internet connection could access this on any device and I'll put a link to this website in the description so you can watch all these other Google tutorials. Thanks so much for watching this video. Again, make sure you check out some of the other videos that I've mentioned throughout to really master Google, Google Drive and Google Workplace. And I also have thousands of videos on howfinity.com on other programs and easy to follow tutorials there if you wanna check it out. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.